Have you ever wondered how the public transportation system in Thiruvananthapuram, the capital of Kerala, could be improved? You're not alone. The city is bustling with activity and its public transportation system is a vital cog in its dynamic lifestyle. However, as the city grows, so does the need for a more efficient transport system. This need has sparked the idea of a metro rail project in Thiruvananthapuram, much like the successful Kochi Metro. Imagine smooth, swift and streamlined travel across the city, reducing congestion and enhancing connectivity. This isn't just a pipe dream. The Kochi Metro Rail Limited, the force behind Kochi's metro success, is taking the lead on this ambitious project. They've enlisted the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation to prepare a detailed project report, marking a significant step towards making this dream a reality. The dream of a metro rail system in Thiruvananthapuram is edging closer to reality. The Thiruvananthapuram Metro Rail Project, conceptualized in 2012, has been steadily progressing. This ambitious venture began with an idea nearly a decade ago, with the first project outline submitted by the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, or DMRC, in 2014. Since then, the project has navigated through various stages of planning and approval. Fast forward to the present day, and the Kochi Metro Rail Limited, responsible for executing this project, has enlisted the DMRC once again this time to prepare a detailed project report, known as a DPR, within a span of three months. This DPR is a crucial document outlining the specifics of the proposed metro rail system. It will undergo a meticulous review process, first scrutinized by the Kochi Metro Rail Limited, then submitted to the state government, and finally to the central government for their final approval. The metro model being proposed is a conventional or medium model, mirroring the successful pattern set by the Kochi Metro. This recommendation comes from the Alternative Analysis Report, or AAR, which has been compiled by the Comprehensive Mobility Plan in August. The envisioned alignment of the metro is quite extensive. In its first phase, it is planned to span from Palipuram to Palichal, followed by an extension from Palichal to Neyatinkara in the second phase. This comprehensive plan incorporates the National Highway Bypass, making the metro project considerably extensive and possibly even extending to Atingal to cater to future transportation needs. The Thiruvananthapuram Metro Rail project holds promise for transforming the city's public transportation system. The journey began in 2012 with the conceptualization of the project and took a significant leap in 2014 with the submission of the first project outline. Now, with the Delhi Metro Rail Corporation preparing a fresh detailed project report, the wheels are set in motion for a transportation revolution. The proposed metro model takes cues from the successful Kochi Metro with a conventional or medium metro system recommended. The metro's alignment is envisioned to span from Palipuram to Palichal in Phase 1 and from Palichal to Nayatinkara in Phase 2, with considerations for future extensions. But it's not just about laying down tracks and running trains. This project also incorporates the National Highway Bypass and recognizes the need for an extensive overhaul of the city's traffic system and parking facilities. This comprehensive approach means that the project is not just a metro rail system, but a holistic solution aimed at transforming the city's transportation landscape. As we look forward to the fruition of the Thiruvananthapuram Metro Rail Project, we can anticipate a transformation in the city's public transportation system, making travel more efficient and convenient for everyone.